For its proximity to the capital and the countless ways to enjoy the South, Laguna is your best bet for the variety of things to do, much like the variety of life in the province. Located southeast of Manila, Laguna has an abundance of natural resources mixed with a cultural heritage that gives this province a distinct charm. The weary urbanite will find that Laguna is the relaxing refuge not too far away from the city. Laguna is a hub of history, nature and culture a loop of inviting towns with various sites and spots that would entrance nature lovers and those just simply looking to discover this side of the region. Trudging toward this side of Laguna via the South Luzon Expressway, one enters through San Pablo City. The oldest city in Laguna, San Pablo is otherwise known as the City of Seven Lakes. These bodies of water bring life into the city, which makes it a great start for an adventure with nature. The seven crater lakes between Mount Makiling and Mount Banahaw were formed from over 200 volcanoes in the area. The biggest of these lakes is Lake Sampaloc, located right in the town proper. Its waters are rich with various species of fish that has provided livelihood for the people. The twin lakes of Pandin and Yambo are among the visited of the lakes. Lake Pandin is a short trek of the main road and is considered the most pristine of the seven lakes. It is a quiet escape where one can glide out on a bamboo raft as the water remains placid. While out on the ride, have lunch or try fishing. From Lake Pandin, climb up a few steps and be welcomed by the scene of its twin, Lake Yambo. Separated from Lake Pandin by a narrow strip of land, Lake Yambo is bigger and is as well a fish sanctuary. From San Pablo, Head on to the province's tourist capital, known for its ancestral heritage and one of the Laguna's most exciting escapades, Pagsinhan is a small town that packs a big punch. For the full experience of Pagsinhan, head on to the Pagsinhan Falls via the Pagsinhan River. This two-hour adventure is sure to get you pumped to discover more of Laguna's secret wonders. The Pagsanhan River flows through the towns of Lumban, Cavinti, and Pagsanhan, and the river system is rich in vegetation that makes for an amazing view. The river cruise takes about an hour, and the ride goes from easy to exhilarating. The boat ride will have you shooting 16 rapids, with each one getting fiercer as you go farther down the river. at the Pagsanhan Falls, a bamboo raft takes you beneath the falls itself. The powerful cascading water is deafening and the experience rejuvenating. The ride back is as wild as the boat surges down the current. The boatmen give way to oncoming boats with adrenaline pushing a smile on everyone's faces. <laughs> After this energy-boosting ride, cool down and have a hearty meal at a quaint little place that serves good old home-cooked food. Calle Arco along Rizal Avenue draws people with its homey ambience and lip-smacking recipes. signature dishes are mostly Filipino with a twist. Try their Sinigang na Baka sa Langka, a sour beef soup recipe spiked with jackfruit. Their garlic chicken is a tasty spin on a usual favorite, 
while their Caesar salad in honey mustard and quesson puti highlights one of the Laguna's delicacies, cottage cheese from Santa Cruz. If you're looking to escape the busy urban scene for a weekend, spend it at Residencia del Rio. This quaint farm resort is a peaceful, welcome change that will complete your Pagsanhan experience. For more of Laguna's recreational spots, head to the town of Lumban. Nestled atop its hills is Caliraya Resort Club, a sanctuary for the body and mind. It is a short boat ride from the man-made Caliraya Lake situated in the towns of Lumban, Cavinti, and Calayaan and is perched on the Sierra Madre mountain range. Great for family fun and amusement, Caliraya Resort Club has various amenities that will excite everyone. The lush greenery of the facility is ideal for outdoor activities that will keep everyone in high spirits. A popular destination for fishing enthusiasts, the waters of Caliraya are ideal for base fishing. Caliraya Resort Club is also a great venue for team building activities and its spacious courts allow for outdoor games and water sports for everyone. A weekend will be anything but dull at Caliraya Resort Club. For a glimpse of various industries that flourish in Laguna, drop by the town of Liliu in the southwest fringes of the province, sandwiched between Nagkarlan and Mahaihai. Considered the shoe capital of Laguna, Liliu is a favorite shopping destination for those who want cheap but high quality footwear. While there, bathe in one of the many cool, invigorating mountain streams that pour through town. And then there's Lumban. Named the embroidery capital of the Philippines, Lumban is the go-to place for hand-embroidered apparel and other products. Lumban embroidery is proof of the masterful work of the people of Laguna. Embroiderers stretch the fabric onto a contraption called tambor, which holds the fabric tight. They then skillfully sew the intricate details of each piece of clothing or accessory, resulting in a fine, delicate piece of opulence often worn in formal Filipino social gatherings. For more creative and original creations, this time in wood, go to the town of Paete. The town's name is derived from paet, the Tagalog word for chisel, the craftsman's tool of the trade. Wood craftsmen create not just wood carvings, but also art pieces from plant resin and paper mache that are scaled, cut, and shaped with precision. more about Laguna's rich history, start your heritage tour in the nearby town of Nagarlan. There stands one of the most significant historical spots in the country. The underground cemetery was built in 1851 by Franciscan missionaries. It is the only underground cemetery in the Philippines and was declared a National Historical Landmark by the National Historical Institute. This site also served as a cradle of the Philippine Revolutionary Movement during the Spanish colonial period, having been a meeting venue for militant hero Andres Bonifacio and his revolutionaries. The influence of the Catholic faith in the culture of the people of Laguna remains evident. Old churches that have stood majestically through time can be found in nearly every town. One of the oldest churches can be found in the town of Mahaihai. 
The Mahai Hai Church was built in 1575 through forced labor under the supervision of Augustinian friars during the early years of the Spanish colonial period. Its towering belfry houses four of the oldest bells in the country. In the town of Paquil, the Church of St. Peter de Alcantara is home to the town's patron, the Nuestra Señora de los Dolores de Turumba. The church was built in the 17th century by Franciscan missionaries. Its Baroque architecture and detailed stonework makes it one of the most interesting churches in Laguna. Another church built by the Franciscans is the Paeta Church, otherwise known as the St. James the Apostle Church. During the Holy Week of Lent, wooden images of saints crafted by the locals are displayed in the galleries of the church. its natural wonders and rich cultural heritage, Laguna sure has a lot in store for those who want to discover the most that nature and history have to offer. Take a ride and go down south to see for yourself. Laguna has a treasure chest waiting for you.